Hello, everyone. Welcome to another week. Um, as I record this, it's already Wednesday. Um, I've tried twice to record this. Um, the second one I did yesterday on the 1010 portal and got all the way through and then started editing the videos in and they disappeared. So definitely feeling uh, a bit of the intensity of this week. Um, this is going to be my last kick at the can if I can't get this to work anymore. I, I don't know what I'm going to do. I, I would love to just go on and do lives. Maybe that's the only way I'm going to be able to keep this U channel, YouTube channel going. So, But cross your fingers. We're going to do this full read. And then I'm going to try to edit it again and see what happens. So this week is a big week. There's lots of energy. And that's probably a little bit of what's going on is that... Um, there's definitely some interference energy, we'll call it. I don't like to call it negative per se. Um, there's definitely crazy, you know, things going on in this world right now. Lots of intense energy as we head toward Friday. We have Friday the 13th, uh, and then Saturday we start eclipse season. So with a solar eclipse, um, new moon solar eclipse. Yeah, I, it's, I'm feeling it already. It's, it's, um, What's the best way to describe it? It doesn't, nothing feels malevolent, but it just doesn't feel good either. <laughs> There's like a, a lot of uh, tumultuous energy, I think is a good word, maybe. Um, so yesterday, the 1010 portal, I am going to pull three portal cards to see what, you know, that portal was all about. Um, also, what happened yesterday too was that Pluto, the planet Pluto, moved out of retrograde so it went direct um and it's just like the quote that came through was through every transformation deeper love is possible um so basically it was just hinting at the fact that you know we've gone through a lot of transformation um there's still shadow and shadow work to be confronted um have we done that uh because if not i think this eclipse is stirring it up a bit um have I stepped into the new, the new power? What's going on there? Like, yeah, there's, it's a very intense week. And I, you know, unfortunately it does mean there's going to be this intensity around, um, just around this whole like shift that we're going through. Um, it also, it's funny because that portal is also letting us know that it's, um, you know, it's a big day for, what's the best way to put this too? It's like things are stymieing me um, because I had such a good read with the other, uh, the other one that, that, I, that didn't save. Um, it was a bit dark and gloomy, but it was very to the point. Um, and I think that's probably what's going to come up again is it's just like, yes, it's hard. Things are tough right now. Um, they don't always feel good. We're doing the best we can, but what that portal is, is that it's a new beginning. We're at the new, be we're still in the new beginnings. Like, it's like we've been trying to close the door on that old stuff, but it just keeps popping open or, um, and then it seems to be taking a long time, right? So I feel like it's like we're walking down a corridor and the new door is at the end and we can see it and we know it's there and it's open and it's ready to go. It's just, we keep getting distracted by all the old things pulling us back down into that lower frequency. So the new is still on the horizon. It's just got to, it's still going through. It's, you know, it's a little bit of clearing, right? Um, so eclipse season lasts from this new moon uh, till the next full moon. So, and which on, I think, I can't remember the date all of a sudden, but it will have, um, it will have a, uh, a lunar eclipse that night. So, and the, this one, this Saturday is a solar eclipse. Um, the thing that is coming up though with this eclipse season is that it is, there's, there is a stirring up. I've said that already. Um, a lot about our triggers, things that I know I've been having the worst time uh, letting things trigger me into like low states of 
uh, fear and uh, sadness and ener- all those energies that I know better to stay in. <clears throat> Definitely want to face them, but I don't want to stay there. Um, basically, just we have to allow these transformations to happen. So allow the change, surrender to the process. That actually came up in the reading that you guys know nothing about. Um, it's important, again, stay grounded. Um, honor yourself for how far you've come so far. Uh, keep working on cleansing your energy and staying in your highest vibration. And just being patient because things are still unfolding. It's not, you know, it's not a done deal because you're not seeing uh, everything come to fruition in this great, benevolent, you know, awe-inspiring manner. It's like we're, we're still going through a little bit of the sludge and the darkness. And that's just the way it is. <laughs> um, you know, we just have to do the best we can with it. And uh, yeah, and keep on keeping on. <laughs> That, that was also came up in that in those previous readings. So I'm just going to leave those in the past because I can't retrieve them. And that's where they are. Uh, no sense crying over spilt milk. Let's just start again. There's obviously a reason um, it didn't work. And now let's see if we can get this to work for us. All right. Let's do an overall card for this week just to see where we're at. Um, yeah. Big, it's a big, wide open question mark at this moment. <laughs> oh, I'm going to take this one. Hmm, interesting. This didn't come up at all. So we, we are starting from scratch and we'll just see what we've... Justice, card number 11. I am truthful with others and myself and I take full responsibility for my choices. Interesting. Wow. Um, It's... It's interesting too, because if I'm not mistaken, (laughs) this looks like a ring of fire, which is what we're going to be seeing with the eclipse. Actually, that is an eclipse, like a hundred percent. Okay. Oops. (laughs) Um, There's also the owl and the peacock in there. So, and the snake, there's a snake. So transformation, wisdom, um, but people always associate peacock with beauty, but it's more about pride, like having being proud of yourself uh, and not in an egotistical way. So, yeah, it's just like be honest with yourself about, you know, where we're still in this thing of like we've got to really be watching what we're thinking and what we're creating because it is going to manifest and we don't want to manifest the wrong thing. And there the energy around us right now in the world and in our lives, I could be speaking for myself, but I'm really noticing this, is that it's it's like heavy fear, distraction, like any kind of energy it can get to lower you down is coming in fast and furious. And it's it's a little much to deal with. It's hard to catch your breath sometimes, but but just remembering in the back of your head that none of that is real. What you want to create is what becomes the reality. So it's, it's so important not to let that low energy and fear and distraction distract us. And we stop creating the potential for beauty, grace, love, and peace. Um, We, we, we can't stop now. Like we're, we're the foot soldiers in this battle and, um, and it is a, it is a battle for our very soul. So if you do want to give your soul up to lower energy, that's, that is your free will choice. But at this point, every message I'm getting is pull up yourself by your bootstraps and, and get marching because it's time. We are not letting this, we are not letting this take us down. Not one single one of us. Anyway, that's just my personal opinion, (laughs) but that's how I'm feeling lately. Oh, isn't that interesting? Okay, there's portal cards stuck in this deck. Whoops. Okay, I don't want to pull all of those. That's hilarious. I can't find that other one. Whoops. I'm going to look at it 
I don't know if I'll include it in the reading. I might. Actually, you know what? It's the three cards that we got, and I am going to read them as what the message of the portal was, because those were the three cards I drew, draw, drew, uh, yesterday on the 1010 portal. And it was specifically asking what that portal was about. So they happened to hide themselves in another deck. I must have done that, but, you know, it, everything happens for a reason. Whew, okay. Yeah. We got the, this card is the heat card. Um, yeah. World's on fire right now. It, you know, it's intense. There's no, it, there's no cooling to this. This is a heated up, uh, intense time on this planet. Um, but I, I just draw your attention to like the wings and the feathers that are sort of like blooming and growing. Um, just meaning that, uh, yeah, it, you know, we are the, the phoenix rising from the ashes and it is going to be okay. It's interesting too, because this, I don't know if it's this person or these are hands of spirit, but they're covering the back of the head, which is our ultra, ultra, alta, ultra, oh my God, I can't say this all of a sudden and I'm recording this and I'm not going to stop. The alta major chakra is back there, right at the base of our skull and first and second vertebrae. And it is, you know, it, it is our, like, with the higher heart is our connection to our higher self and source. So that could be that this heat, even though it's uncomfortable and it's a little scary, is firing us up to become, to open that channel more. So we're, you know, we're more connected with the universe itself. That's a good, that's a good place to be right now. But, you know, obviously it's going to be a little intense to get there. Okay, let's take a look at these three cards that popped out of the wrong deck. <laughs> um, because they are... Um, um, they are what I asked for with the portal cards yesterday. So what was the 1010 portal all about? The first card that came up was the Akashic Records. So clearing old stories, releasing past lives, and freedom at the other side of it. So this may be happening to you on a personal level, but also this is happening to the world. You can see it out there. It's rearing its big, ugly head out there. It, this is Akashic Records. Of like It's the story that was written from the beginning of time. So all of this is supposed to happen even though that's a hard thing to say and for people to like kind of swallow or digest, this has all been written and we're just kind of like, it's a play that's already been written and we're now, we're active participants in this play, but we're also just watching and observing um, it unfold because it will unfold exactly the way it's supposed to. And I know sometimes it doesn't look like that. <laughs> it doesn't sound like that. Um, but just reminding us that, this is, this is, this has been written, this book, this story, this, this has all been written in the history of time, in the records of time. And right now, yeah, we just are in this period of, we have to clear the old stories. Like I said, that old door behind us, it just won't shut. We can't get it to shut until we clear whatever's in the way and finally, like, close it, lock it, leave it. Um, releasing past lives. I mean, geez. If everybody on the planet has to do that, that's billions of people to go through, right? We also got the Orion activation was for the portal yesterday. Supernova, recreation, renewal, rebirthed by light. So just letting us know this is happening. And the other side of it, right, with that Akashic Record card, freedom. The other side of it is we're close. That's what it's telling me. We're close. We're about to go through this gateway into the new, into the renewal, into being rebirthed by light. Um, and this one came up. There was actually a fourth one that came up, but I don't, I didn't see it in there. So we'll just read these and then uh, um, 
I've got a couple others here that I want to go through. Um, we got the Sword of Light as well. So this always connects us into Archangel Michael. Um, but what I'm being specifically told and what I was told yesterday is that it's really pointing to let you know that like if you're struggling uh, right now with with what's going on in this energy and or that nothing's seemingly like nothing's happening um, and, and the doom is really creeping in is is just remembering you were divinely protected. We do need to cut those cords though to that old system and that old life and that everything we're hanging on to that is not serving us. Um, so as soon as you can recognize that pattern, calling in Arch Archangel Michael just to cut those ties. And then a breakthrough energy is what's coming through. Um, I, I pulled the top four cards too, just because I wanted to um, follow up on that because I was just going to do a clean read on this, but um, these popped out and I'm being told it's just important <laughs> to go through them. Um, so we got crown chakra upgrade, divine connection, holy experience, miraculous energy. Yeah, I, I feel like it's like a lot of what we're being told to do is to is to lessen our grip on the fear around everything and give it up to the divine because it's going to play out the way it's going to play out. It's supposed to be doing this. Um, and the, and how we help that out is by bringing in or accessing miraculous energy. So, you know, that we actually allow the divine to come in and, and f not fix these situations, but like play them out and, and heal them. It's, it's about healing. Um, what else do we need here? Okay, I'm going to go Heart of Source also came out. An all-encompassing love, unconditional acceptance, and serenity. These things are all there for us. We have to focus on them, not being pulled down into the low doom and gloom frequency. It's really hard to, I know, it's really hard to stay out of it. Again, uh, angelic frequency, archangel sort of light, <laughs> all on the angels. They're here. That says you are safe. That's the thing. You were safe. You were divinely protected. You have a potent connection to the angels. Just call them in. And the last one is the Pleiadian activation, coming together, harmony in the heavens, resolution. Resolution. A resolution is coming of this. Um, and it is, it is this, it is this divine miracle, miraculous energy. It's on its way. Don't, don't panic. Basically keep doing your work. Keep focusing as much as we can on everything positive. And I know, I know that's hard when everything is so negative and it does, like I said, that energy, it's done it to me like twice or three times over this couple of weeks. Um, setting off my triggers and like the things that make me angry um, and and getting into that lower fear energy and just wanting to throw in the towel completely and throw your hands up and you know part of it's been this whole editing system with this computer um, it's just like you know why do we do this little 3d life it's so monotonous and boring and uh, and, you know, quite frankly, we're far more intelligent and, um, and wise. Like, why do we do things the way we do on this planet? Because it's not good for anyone. So it's time for it to change. Um, we know that we're almost there. That's the big thing. We're almost there. We're really, we're really close. Um, and I'll be right here with you trying not to give up too, because <laughs> some days I, some days I almost do, but then I remember that, yeah, it's just, it's a game of patience and it's, we can do this. All right, let's take a look at the week. We are going to just do the abridged Monday to Wednesday, Thursday to Saturday. Um, and 
hopefully I'll be able to put this video up. And if not, then I'll have to look at a different way of maybe going live. It's the only way I'll be able to keep the YouTube channel up because if I can't edit videos, then, then there's just, yeah, uh, the only way is to like do it in person. So we'll see what plays out. Let's look at the week. All right, taking a look at the week. Like I said, I did toy with the idea of re just rereading the cards that I have pulled. Um, but I've decided I'm going to redo the whole thing. I am going to use the same deck decks uh, that I used for the week. Um, and we'll see what comes up. I might refer back to the past a little bit with that reading. But seeing as you guys never saw it, you don't know. <laughs> um, I picked cards that were more energy-based. And then the Star Seed Oracle, just because I feel like we're close. Besides the angelic connection being close, is um, uh, oh. is um, besides the angelic uh, being close, so is our upper our, our galactic family. Sorry, I'm just I'm laughing because one card has come out the same. So the first card we got is the tall tale, a tall tale. This for me is always, it's the, well, it's Pinocchio sitting there that's plain to see. He's got the big long nose and he's, you know, a wooden boy. Um, and what's, you know, what's under the hat? Um, so the beginning of this week, even though we're already at Wednesday, and I can tell you from looking at Monday and <laughs> Tuesday, is it's like non-stop exposure of things. So as all these stories come out, they are meant in piece by piece to reveal a story, not the not the story we've been told, but the story that is the truth. So just, you know, basically it's just saying there's more to come and some of it it gets hard. And it's not going to be, uh, it's not always benevolent, the stuff that's about to come out. And it, it, we can tell it already is. It's just, it's years and years and years of clearing karma that we're doing right now. And it's, it's ugly because we haven't been the nicest well, to one another. doesn't matter where you originate from, where you've lived, any of the things that we divide ourselves about. Um, we all are going through this collective karma purge and it sucks and it's ugly, but in our past lives and things like that, we have not been nice to one another. You, you can go all the way back to the beginning of time and people have not been nice to one another. So we've got a lot of stuff to clean up and rectify. The advice from, to get through this. The first thing is grateful. Great and full is the name of this card. And I can't help but think of the Holy Grail comes to mind with that chalice, right? Um, so we, it, and it's a root chakra card. So it's like, we have to be grateful for what is going on and what we have right now. So just keep pumping yourself full of the positive. I know that's, Again, I know people are just like, but nothing is good right now. And how can you just ignore? It's like, well, because if we keep perpetuating this low energy, it just, it's not going to stop. You know, it's not just like this light comes in and banishes it all. It, it's about us and the job we're doing for us and our soul. And like, are you going to let the dark consume you? Or are you going to let the light in? Be grateful for what you have. Uh, we're being reminded to, again, this is about, it's about going within, right? Quiet the mind, really listening to ourselves. It's a throat chakra card too. So again, discernment coming in, discerning what resonates with you 
what doesn't when these narratives and stories are being played out? Um, why do you subscribe to the doom, right? Um, you don't have to. We really don't. Um, it's really about uh, it's really about doing what we need to do to keep our our sanity and our vibration high, like a hundred percent. Yeah, so funny. Okay, hang on. I just want to see. What this is. Okay, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Like this is this is just you can't make this stuff up. The mind card comes up in the Osho deck. Look at the oh hi Sam's gonna come in here. Look at that chaos. This is the world chaos. Look at everything's on fire. It's all messed up. It's like start we have to stop listening to this. Start listening to heart. Connecting higher heart. Um I don't know, maybe we're supposed to be just holding that ultra major chakra and doing our meditations. Um, because the next card that come up is source. So turning back to source, letting source in, letting this play out because it's supposed to, and just accepting the light and letting the light in. And the last card we got was turning in again. Um, it's interesting though, because the, sometimes the, if you look at the faces in the back, they're a little frightening looking, but I think it's just that it's like, it's, it's like tune out everything else and just turn in and only be listening, listening and discerning with our throat chakra, what is, what we are grateful for and what's working for us, not what other people are saying. So turning within and really listening to ourselves. All right, let's take a look at the Star Seed Oracle for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. So yeah, a lot of just like meditate, tune it out, tune out everything else. Um, this is about, I feel like this is about connecting again, directly to source and not letting anything sway you from that. Um, calling in your angels, um, but really connecting to your own soul. Um, yeah, like, I, I just think we're not, we're, we're listening to everybody else and we're not really listening and asking ourselves, what do you need and how can I make this like feel better? Okay. Yeah. And just, okay. Okay. Well, it's I, same as the, the last reading, totally different cards. But lots of emphasis on this is just happening and it's a process we have to go through. And it's, it is, you know, I don't mean to be the doom and gloom girl, but it's going to suck. It's not, this isn't going to be easy. It never was, but we signed up for it. We know this. We've done this before. We can do it again. The first card, cracked open, rock bottom, surrender to the alchemy of life. This is about surrendering to the process. Source has a plan. The Akashic Records, it's already written. We have to stop fighting it so hard and trying to, again, we're always trying to control how the outcome is going to come. It's just like tune in and listen to your true feelings and connect with your true self. Um, there's a little bit of a cautionary thing here. Loosen your grip. Again, it's this is about the control. You cannot control this. Stop trying to control this. Take a breath, turn inward, do a meditation. Here's the key word in this. I'll read it first. Let God in. Let the energy in. Let source in. Let the light in. We're not letting it in because it's like there's something, there's some reason we're like, like putting the brakes on all of a sudden. And it's like, no, we're supposed to make, like, like I said, pull yourself up by your bootstraps and get marching. It's time. Um, the cautionary part of this is that. There's in here is coping mechanisms, addiction, and the word density. We have to remember we're on a really dense planet. As we start to lighten up, it's it's gonna feel funky and and it's it's like it's like we're suddenly free, but we are just like scared to step out of the cage even though the door is open. And even though everything's fine, but it's just like we're so used to being in the cage that it's it's safer to stay in there. It's not 
we're not supposed to stay in there. So watch, I know I've been doing lots of coping mechanisms these last couple of weeks because it's just been intense energy and overwhelming. And I let 3D like rule my life the last two weeks again. I just keep slipping back into it. And then I'm like, what are you doing? Why are you doing that? <laughs> anyway, just remember, we do live on a really dense planet. And it's tough to navigate this place sometimes. So cut yourself some slack too. And just let the universe take over. Surrender. Surrender is the big word that's coming up. It's surrendering to this process. Just let it happen. You know, try not to like drag yourself down by listening to all of it and then becoming the doom and gloom person, right? I'm totally that. That's why I'm saying it. Here's, um, okay. We also, we did get two, so, or four total. We got the blue flame, spontaneous awakening, activation, integration time. Again, this process is happening. So we, again, we can fight it and whatever we need to do to resist it, but resistance is futile. Eventually it will wear us down and we will surrender. Um, or, <laughs> or, you know, like, or you just decide to stay in the low frequency for the rest of your days. Can't imagine doing that. Anyway, the big reminder for Monday to Wednesday, child of the cosmos. The intelligence of the universe lies within you. Yeah, just know, again, the universe has your back. Let this all unfold. This is all meant to unfold. Surrender to the process. And, and we're divinely protected and taken care of. It's nothing to worry about. Um, but the overall advice would be, again, stop listening to the outside influences of any kind. That includes me. If I'm saying stuff that doesn't resonate with you, you hit the stop button right now and pick up on another video, maybe. Maybe you don't. Anyway, the bottom line is, this is an inside job and we're each responsible for self. So you're supposed to be doing that work. It's not selfish to do that work. Don't worry about everybody else. That includes your children, your husbands, your wives, anybody you're immediately close to. It's their job to do their work and they know what they have to do, especially kids. Don't worry about them. They came in with like all the knowledge. Like it's literally going to be like they flip a switch and they're like, don't worry, I got this. Do you, do you want some help? I'm good now. Do you want some help? Again, you can't help anybody until you're good first. So this is self all about turning inward and really listening and just being calm. That's the other thing I'm getting is just just try to keep the calm within yourself and keep that frequency as high as possible. All right, that's Monday through Wednesday.